Hey everybody, this is Dr. C from the Austin Gynecomastia Center and today I'm going to do a video on a steroid injection. Now, this whole video came about by a patient of mine who is here, but we're not going to do his face. And he had three previous surgeries, not with me, right? Correct. Woo-wee! Not with me. And he has some scar tissue underneath his nipple areola complex and he feels it. We don't see it as much, a little bit, but not that much. Um, but scar tissue forms anytime you do an operation. In some cases it can build up and you can kind of feel something. Now, steroids are something that we can give to help soften and shrink the scar tissue, okay? Now, it's not like the end all of end all. We give you steroids and it's just permanently gone. Everything's just perfect. Sometimes you have to give periodic injections. Typically, I use a Kenalog solution. I'm gonna show you how I do the injection today. You don't do injections every day, you don't do them every week, it's only every eight weeks. Because if you give too much, you can actually make a hole. And it's real. So you gotta be careful about steroid injections. These are also not the steroids that like, are bodybuilding steroids and things that travel everywhere else. It's a local injection, it's gonna go into the actual scar tissue itself. And like I said, when we're done injecting the uh, area, you need to massage it to kind of work the scar because you're gonna think of your hands as like a jackhammer and you wanna work that scar Anything that gives pressure is going to help that scar to, to get softer and to get smaller and really that's what we're going to head today with this. So here it is, simple injection. Um, here's my needle um, and I'm going to show you how we inject his side over here. I can feel a little bit of scar tissue right here, it's not a ton, okay. We can grab it in our hands, all this kind of stuff. I put a little bit of cleansing solution and I'm gonna get in the tissue. I can feel it right away with my needle because uh, it's hard. And I'm gonna inject in the body of the scar, okay? It's a pretty small needle here. It must be nice today because he's a good guy. And I'm trying to get underneath the nipple in particular because this scar tissue can make that nipple more prominent and that's one of his big complaints here is that his nipples are prominent. So that was your little uh, scar injection, okay? When we're done, it's good to massage it, get it between your fingers, and just work it. I mean, he's worked it so much, in fact, he's gotten black and blue, he told me. But I'm squeezing the hell out of it, and he's wincing right now. But that's what you want to do afterwards. You want to just kind of work that steroids into that scar tissue, and that's going to soften it up, make this less prominent. And if it's less prominent, he'll be a happier camper. So anyway, that's a little kind of an idea of what a um, steroid injection is. Again, they don't happen, but every two months, uh, you can get them anywhere. So a lot of my patients are from all over the world. So if you're in, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, where, hungry, and you need to get an injection, well, you need to find a doctor who can give you that injection. We use Kenalog solution. There's two types here, 10 and 40. It's a concentration. I sometimes use the 10, sometimes use the 40, but they do come in handy. It's not the end all of end all, but in terms of managing some scar formation and some of the results, trying to get them as smooth as possible, this can come in handy. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just answer uh, on the video. Go to my website.